Yes, uh, rather different from a week ago, I'll tell you weather-wise, and ground drying out as a consequence. Special meaning hurtle out of the stalls, mile and a half, and uh, she is immediately the early leader, with out a little wider Hollowina, and also astonishing moving forward to take a handy position. Freedom's Light in the single green hoop on the inside of Cubanita, who races in the multiple green hoops, are just behind the leaders as they turn into the back straight. Keone's little keen in sixth on the outside of Madame Defarge, then Silk Sari, a couple of links to Sultanina Quizmistress, and last year's winner, Moment in Time. Different colours this year in the blue jacket with the orange epaulets is at the rear of the field. So Special Meaning, who uh, gained the advantage by that fast exit from the stall, still holds it as they enter now the final nine furlongs. In second is Freedom's Light on the inside of Astonishing in the yellow hoop with the white face. Several white faces in this, Hollowina in the dark colours with the white disc and the big white face of the bandage behind Cubanita, racing fourth and fifth, and the pace has steadied down now. In midfield, racing in sixth is Madame de of Keone, they're tracked by Silk Sari, and the back three remains Sultanina, quiz mistress, and last of all, moment in time. So there's been very little change in the play as they've made their way down the back straight. They'll shortly be exiting it with uh, just over six and a half furlongs to travel. And out in front, special meaning, astonishing in second. Hollowina is the one that's posted three wide as the turn approaches. On the inside, Freedom's Light of Cubanita, who's in the centre of that chasing trio. Madame Defarge in sixth place, Keone racing seventh. And behind these, we still have no move yet from Silk Sari, Quizmistress, Sultanina, and a moment in time. So very little change in the order through the first half of this group. Three pinnacle stakes, they're now beginning the turn back towards home. And special meaning, attended by Astonishing, Hollowina coming down the centre. you see there's a cutaway on the rail in a moment or two's time that will provide some ammunition to anyone who wants to go up the inside. Cubanita moving forward as they reach that cutaway. Madame Defarge, Keone, Sultanina's making ground along with Moment in Time right down the outside of the race course. Keone just looking for a bit of room. A special meaning attended now by Astonishing. Cubanita coming there with a the big white face. Down the centre, Sultanina running a big race for one so inexperienced. Freedom's Light boxing on. Moment in Time is now under strong pressure. A white waved wave, a white faced wave as they head now down inside the final furlong and a half and it's Freedom's Light who has moved through now to lead from Sultanina running this mighty race. Quiz Mistress from a long way back is running on strongly, but it's Freedom's Light, Frankie Dettori and John Gosden from Sultanina. Gosden's other runner, Silk Sari, is coming home strongly. Sultanina uh, trying to close down on Freedom's Light on the run to the line. Freedom's Light all out. Sultanina dies and all! Maybe the bob of the head favoured Sultanina from Freedom's Light. Silk Sari was closing on them all the time. Quiz Mistress was fourth, then Special Meaning, Moment in Time and Astonishing. Keone was next, Madame Defarge and Hollowina. John Gosden's won the pinnacle stakes, but with which horse? Sultanina right on the line, definitely the bob favoured. She had her head right down. Freedom's Light on the inside for uh, Frankie de Tori. Very close between those two. And Silk Sari was closing off strongly and has only been beaten about neck or half a length for third place. So, the pinnacle stakes is going to be in the hands of the judges, jockeys conferring, a tight finish to the opener. A picture for John Gosden's wall, a 1-2 for the new market the trainer. The photo finish for first place, first number 11, Sultanina, Sultanina. remains unbeaten. She is called the winner by Judge Dyke Clark. She has beaten stable companion Freedom's Light and that is a terrific performance for one so inexperienced. Did not see a race course till her four-year-old season. This is it. She showed signs of distinct greenness with a hood on in a Salisbury maiden race. But she won it, hood off today, and she showed real tenacity to get the better of her stable companion, Freedom's Light, who is already rated 90. The winner, Sultanina, is going places. She is bred by Philippa Cooper's Normandy stud. Philippa and husband Nicholas are here today. They've also got two runners at Newmarket and one at Newbury. They will be thrilled to bits with this, as I'm sure will the man aboard, William Buick. He rides Western Him in the Investec Derby, and he's talking to Rishi. Congratulations to Will Buick. Will, that was a last gasp effort, but a brave performance from one so inexperienced. Yeah, it was good. Being frank, we were upside from the two and a half, and there's no one worse to be upside from that point in the race, but uh, I knew it was close. I'd have been disappointed if, 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 if she'd have got beat because she's, she's still very green. And, uh, you know, she's quite a talented filly. The owner, Mrs. Cooper, said to me she's, she thinks a lot of her, so she was definitely right. Was this your choice to ride her, even the fact that she was so inexperienced before the race? Yeah, it was a very hard choice. And, uh, and, you know, there was nothing in it, as you could see, so um, just, just lucky we won. Absolutely. Well done, Will. Great start to the day. Thanks, Richard. Well, John Gosson started the season 
as though the horses are almost on fire. So quickly did he rattle off winners, the turf season that is. And Graham, it's continued sometimes, some uh, early burst burnout, but this one's keeping going. And the late bloomer, now two from two, and to beat useful fillies like that at the last gasp on her second start, a notable performance. Good quote from the owner, Philippa Cooper, after she'd won at Salisbury. It's been a nightmare with her, but I didn't care if she was seven. I would have still persevered to get her on the race course. Saw shins last season. She's shown this lot a clean pair of heels in the engine. She did, yes. Um, Frankie Dettori's filly in, of George Strawbridge's in the white colours over on the far side. Just Frankie doesn't use his whip in the closing stages. She, she's still very green, his filly too. She just flicks her ears once or twice once she's in front near the end. Her head's coming up a little bit. He's trying to keep behind her and keep her balanced. William's got his filly running forward now. She's very determined. Uh, Sultanina battles on well. Uh, and the third filly... Uh, home two is one to keep an eye on. Yeah, some smart fillies out of the frame here. And look at this strong late challenge from the winner, right on the nod. And Buick will take plenty of satisfaction from clipping the Tory right on the line there. And down here in the winner's enclosure, William Buick is debriefing a delighted winning owner, breeder, Philippa Cooper. And he was just saying he did definitely have the choice between this filly and Freedom's Light. And it was a brave decision to go with one who just raced once. And Philippa, Normandy stud in Sussex, has been breeding for about 17 or 18 years and is developing some top-class families. I'm going to go in and have a, a quick word. She's just taking the photograph for the wall, and it'll be a very special one. Philippa... Many, many congratulations. It's all worked out beautifully. It takes a very smart filly to win a Group 3 on just her, her second start, but as you're saying to her, she is so tough. She is so tough. We've had so much trouble getting her on the race course. Oh, my goodness. Saw shins, saw shins, saw shins. Being at the start, back to the trainer, back to the trainer. But he believed in her. He's been absolutely fantastic, you know, to keep her horse in training up four. She just won her maiden. And I didn't think she'd won today. And to even sort of be in the first three or four would have just been amazing. She's so tough. And is that a trait that the family have? Well, her mother won the Lupe, and unfortunately she won them on fractured knees, and she dead-heated with Rising Cross, and we wanted her to run in the Oaks, but it wasn't to be. She was injured after that, and her grandmother, food broker fancy, little diminutive, tiny, I remember tiny struggling against independence and the sun chariot and just losing by a short head. Uh, she's just got that toughness. I've been lucky with Mum, haven't got anything off onto the race course yet but this one came along and we just believed she looks like new approach if you look at her sort of very heavy top light framed mum is tiny diminutive and we just had to persevere but so brave and you put an awful lot into the game in emotionally and financially yes. days like this really make it worthwhile really really and what a wonderful race course we love hey dog i said to gary middle what a fair course and i said to nick today if she's got potential then we've got no excuses today. Ground's perfect, field's perfect, plenty of room, no argy-bargy, and this is what it's all about.